Uh, the other morning, we uh, spoke about sway. This morning, I want to speak about swag. You can ask yourself the following question. Swag minatora minayin. Which means, where do we find swag mentioned in the Torah? Something bothering you a lot. I know that, right? Where do you find swag, boys? You know what I'm saying, Mike? Where do you find swag in the Torah? So I saw such a beautiful, interesting insight into one word in our dominant. Yesterday we spoke about a beautiful, beautiful pasuk, one of the most important pasukim in Ashrei. Maybe the most <coughs> important pasuk in all of Pesukim de Zimra. We spoke about the pasuk that talks about Parnassah, our livelihood. <coughs> so the pasuk reads, we saw it, yeah, and we said yesterday, if you don't say that pasuk with Kalmana, you got to repeat it over. You got to say it over again. So I want to share with you. Look at this interpretation of a word in our davening. We say Poteach et Yadecha, Hashem, open up your hands. Who must be out and literally satisfy the needs of all living beings. Who must be a lachol chai ratzon? What's ratzon in Hebrew normally? I won't get up and on that. What's ratzon? The desires. Excellent. So Noah says, Hashem, and so we're praising God for taking care of the desires of all living beings. That's one way to interpret the puzzle. I saw it in the name of Rab Hirsch, of Samson of Paul Hirsch. Oh, he is awesome. This is the puzzle, boys, that deals with Parnasa. This is the pasuk that deals with how much moolah we're going to make, how much of a livelihood we're going to get. One of the most important things, says Rav Hirsch, when it comes to making a living in any type of business, boys, what do you need? He word today, what do you need? Desire. No. Why? Why? Rabbi. Rubel is asking, what is swag? Swag, boys, means, think about it, you got to be smooth. And it's not just smooth. Swag, you can't translate the word. Now, we're saying in Hebrew, ritzon can be desire, or there are other places in Hebrew where yehi ritzui lachav, which means they should be, quote, unquote, desirable. Not desire, like you're saying, which is one shot. Listen to this, boys. Hashem provides to every individual. What does He give each and every one of us? But so, but so, and this means He gives us all swag. What I mean by that swag, maybe in English you want to call it endearingness. That's a word. Likeability. But so, when we're saying He would soya chav, there's another pasuk in the Torah that all the brothers like them. People like you. There's a charm. There's a swag that a person has. If a person, whatever livelihood you have, if you're a lawyer, someone walks into your office, and you're like a geek, and there's no chemistry, you're not going to get clients. And if you're a teacher, you'll excuse me, and you have no personality, and you have no, then chances are your students aren't going to, hey, you're not going to be so, if you're a salesman, and you don't know how to have the ability to sell your product, so it's almost like in any business, in order to need a dentist. If you're a dentist, obviously you've got to try and do a good job with your teeth. But even so, if you have bad bed, if you have bad, not bedside matters, if you have a, you sit in one of those chairs in the dentist's office. If you don't have swag, if you don't have the ability to connect with people, then chances are your business is going to suffer. And chances are your parnasa is not going to be so good. And sometimes in life, Coca-Cola is very successful. I don't know, I'm not sitting there judging, but they got swag. They got it. I mean, sort of commercial Super Bowl. <coughs> there are successful companies out there. There are stores that open up. Businesses open up. People walk in there. If they like it, they're going to come back because they got swag. So, Pateh Edecha must be Hashem gives to each person. The whole chai. What does He give them? But sown. Each person He gives them commensurate to how each person is. Some people it gives more swag. Some people it gives more at some. Other people it gives less. 
And often that's how you end up in your livelihood, your panasa. So we, every morning as part of our kamana, what we should be thinking about, one of the things that we're praising God for in this thing is that he has the ability to give each person and each essence and each company and each business a call at chai ratzon. He gives to every living being ratzon their endearingness, their lovingness, their appreciation of other people, or for lack of better term, that's why. Have a lovely day. I share, 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 I share